You guys will remember the Donald Trump hands slash penis debacle, the Marco Rubio conflict that went between the two of them about whether he had a big dick or not and whether his hands were sufficiently large to warrant having a sufficiently large appendage. Well, anyway, in a, in a weird turn of fate, art imitating life, imitating art, imita there's a painting. Ilma Gore, she's a, a, an LA-based painter, has depicted uh, a nude of Donald Trump, which she feels inspired that whole debate, inspired that whole Marco Rubio assault on Donald Trump, which failed. Well, now, the debate lives on and rages on because Ilma Gore has created a painting which is currently hanging in the Maddox Gallery in London depicting, and it's entitled Make America Great Again. It is a nude of a nude of Donald Trump. And what's causing the controversy is the fact that he is a full-blown nude where the, the real estate mogul has a very small penis. We've thrown it up there for you, but in, in, in accordance with YouTube guidelines, we had it pixelated. We have the offending appendage pixelated. It took our, uh, our, some of our most skilled workers a full 30 seconds to pixelate out these, because it's so small was, is the appendage. <laughs> Joy, he's got very upset. He's notoriously thin-skinned. Right. Uh, whether he has small hands or not, we'll come to in a second. We've got some pictures and let viewers decide for themselves and trying to have a scientific appraisal of how big or small his hands are and what that might mean for what he's packing in his pants. <laughs> but uh, what do you think? They, they, this is re she's receiving bids. It's been removed from Facebook. She's not allowed to have it on her Facebook account. She's been removed from eBay. Um, Bids are coming in in excess of £100,000. It's reputed to be worth a million pounds now. $1.4, $1.5 million. I mean, I'm not surprised. I know that Donald Trump can't take a joke. A lot, his supporters can't really take a joke. I think the painting is very beautiful. I think it's very lifelike, oh. don't you think? Yeah. But <laughs> regardless, I mean, the, the fact that it's being censored, the fact that people are pulling it down is just going to make it more popular. That image is all over the place now. Well, what Ilma Gore had to say was this. She said, the reaction, especially in the UK, has been incredibly supportive. Everywhere apart from America has been great. Who knew it would be such a big deal? I think an artist's job is to take the times we're living in and then set the scene. It is a representation representation of where we are. Now, she has been threatened with legal action, anonymously threatened with legal action, if she attempts to sell the painting. This is, and she's received death threats, she's received all sorts of nasty messages and threats, all anonymously, but the, the, the supposition is, is that it's come the, the, the threat to sue, and we know what a keen litigator Donald Trump mm -hmm. is, the, the, the supposition is, is that the anonymous threat to sue in the, the event of a sale has come from the Trump campaign. Yeah, I mean, of course, this is speculation, but I'm like, oh, the anonymous person threatening to sue. We, I mean, the chances of it being him or someone from his campaign, I think, is pretty, pretty strong. As, as, as avid of supporters as he has, I don't imagine somebody in middle America just being like, well, I'm going to sue her for that thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's got to be from him. So this is that it's hanging legitimate. This is a legitimate gallery that's hanging in the Maddox Gallery in London. It, they wanted to bring it to the United States. She's, as I said at the top, that she's based here in the Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. she, they wanted to have it hung here at some at some venue, but they just were able to do so because they were fearful of what might happen. The implications of having it would, it was too controversial. He's such a such a divisive figure that they just couldn't physically have it in the country. And that is that is quite amazing. That, in lots of ways, that is. What art does, art is provocative. When art's done well, it's provocative. But this is so, uh, I, I don't feel as though this, in, this is provocative in quite the right way. And certainly anybody who's seen it would be perhaps, I mean, we had to have the pixelated version, but mm -hmm. it's not something that you would necessarily want to stare at for a particularly long time. No, I know you said you thought it was beautiful, but I mean, because, let that rest. But it's, also, but it's also a great symbolism of this ridiculous thing. She right. wouldn't have painted it if he hadn't been like, I got a big dick, I swear. You know what I mean? It's like he set himself up for that. It's just this kind of combination of nudity, which America has an issue with in general, coupled with the idea that it's making fun, fun of Donald Trump. Like, no wonder his supporters' brains are exploding. Donald Trump once, as Faye many times has said about the size of his hands and, and implied, he said the following on this, my fingers are long and beautiful, as has been well documented. <laughs> are various other parts of my body. So he's, he's been very, he's, he's, he, he, he leaves no stone unturned in telling you exactly what he's packing. So one would imagine that he would be similar, he would be upset by this. But yes, Donald Trump, as we can see here from some of these, he has inspired a series of artistic endeavors, none yeah. of them complimentary. It's just the idea of a presidential candidate being like, my fingers are long and beautiful. See, you're just like, dude, you have got to grow up a little yeah, bit. He's like some Roman emperor who's just surrounded yeah. his, 
you know, uh, like surrounded Napoleon? by Napoleon. Napoleon, anybody? Goodness. <laughs> so anyway, the 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 painting goes. Uh, the painting is up for sale. She's being the the artist is being threatened with being sued, and she's received a number of threats. This is just another example of how polarizing Donald Trump is. Whether you think he has beautifully long hands and beautifully long fingers or not, it's highly controversial. And once again, uh, the thin-skinned candidate seemingly not being able to take a joke.